The Honourable Member for Calgary, McCain, Hill. Thank you. I'll try to be facty. Mr. Speaker, it was recently announced that Chinook Learning Services operations at Viscount Bennett Centre in Calgary will cease at the end of August 2018. CBE also announced plans to reduce its upgrading capacity by a quarter or 500 students. Okay. Viscount Bennett has served as a hub for high school upgrading since the 50s, providing an essential service to adult learners. To the Minister of Education, how can your ministry justify closing Viscount Bennett Centre when the school's enrollment has doubled since 2014? Donald Minister of Advanced Education. Uh, uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'm pleased to uh, rise and answer this question on behalf of the Minister of Education. Uh, it, you know, our government has invested much more money in teachers, smaller class sizes, and additional learning supports for students in Calgary. Uh, and despite this, we've been concerned with reports from the Calgary Board of Education uh, about budget deficits, and we've also heard from parents who are concerned about changes uh, to, to various other things with the Calgary Board of Education. You know, our immediate priority remains to make life better for Calgary families, and we're looking at, uh, at, at ways to do that. And I'll commit on behalf of the Minister of Education to uh, provide more information. When Thank you, Honourable Minister, for supplemental. Thank you. In today's economy, it's an advantage for those seeking employment to possess, at a minimum, a high school education. However, a traditional K-12 environment doesn't suit everyone, and many have to upgrade high school marks in adulthood. Upgrading can change lives for people who have had challenges completing school. With a reduced upgrading capacity divided across several high schools, how will the Minister of Education ensure continuity and quality of service for all upgrading students? Honourable Minister. Uh, uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And of course, uh, it's important to remind the member and all members of this House that uh, since our government took office, we've increased the funding to the CBE by over $63 million. That's the operating funding. We've provided them $18 million to fully cover the cost of reducing instructional and transportation fees. We've provided them $13 million in additional funding to classrooms as part of our Classroom Improvement Fund. And we've invested more than $100 million in capital investments for new and modernized schools this year. Mr. Speaker, nothing is more important to this government than to give every Albertan the opportunity to receive a, a, a high class, high quality education in this province. And we're continuing to work to do that for the students. Thank you. The second supplemental. Mr. Speaker, the closure of Viscount Bennett means many teacher and staff are concerned about layoffs and reducing the number of classes will likely mean an increase in the size of classes. This is going to make it even harder for people who want to complete their diploma. When will the Minister of Education provide a plan to ensure that increased class sizes will not mean increased barriers to success for adult learners? Honourable Minister. Uh, well, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and of course, uh, uh, again, I would refer the member to my previous question about the increased investments that we've made in, in Calgary School Board uh, since we've uh, become government, and I, I think I would take the uh, uh, opportunity to remind the member and all members of the House that uh, cutting 20 percent out of the education budget uh, would not do anybody any favours in providing opportunities for students. Uh, nor would it do anything to uh, enhance the quality of education in Calgary or anywhere else. And I think people should remember that uh, when choosing their government. Thank you.